Hi, I'm Narid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix the problem with your car 2D scroller game in Game Maker. So you remember from last video we did create this but there was a problem when we go up of this ramp we can see the collision or colliding is not working as we wanted so the car shouldn't go through this right so without any further ado let's begin so if you remember from last video we did have that problem and i did promise you that i will show you how you can fix it so let's just open the obg car body and let's just reopen the modified collision shape and in here you remember we make these changes for our car and you can see it the collision shape is like this let's just zoom a little bit and you can see the collision shape is from here okay so this much of our car body will go through everything and it doesn't have any body or collision shape for that matter if you want to have all of these assets and codes it's my it's in my patreon page you can download it freely you can have all my co all my codes in my videos and it helped me a lot to be a full-time youtuber so first thing to do what we want in this car body collision shape we want this shape to be here as well right let's just maximize this and hit f12 to make it full screen so you can see it clearly make it a little bigger this way so we can zoom a little bit and this is our collision shape and it worked in our game but it's not what we want we want this and this as well okay so this okay we want this and the one that we have before let's just run it to see if we have it like this what will happen you can see it no longer go through our object and this lines is for debugging i did show you how you can enable that so let's just get rid of all of these debugging lines for just enabling them you should add a draw event and in there say draw itself and after that physics draw debug but we don't want this draw at all for the obg wheel front we don't want that draw as well so let's just run it again you can see that we no longer have that problem but there is another problem let me show you if we go to our room and create obg ground on this side like this let's just make it a little bit bigger Control c Control v copy it to put it on this side as well now let's just run it to see what will happen if we go and you can see the front of the car is going through that wall and we don't want that in unity you can create a complex polygon shape for your physics collision shape okay but in game maker you can't do that of course there is a way and i will show you how you can do that and i want to say that that complex physics shape that you have in unity it's uh, it needs more cpu and ram okay so it's not efficient but the way that game maker does it it's too much efficient it has a lot of limitation that i will show you how you can efficiently go around them okay so your game will be efficient so the problem that we have here that our car goes through walls some part of it it goes to walls so what we should do let's just go back to our workspace in our obg car but if you don't have this project you can download it from patreon or you can watch my playlist of videos about this uh, car to the uh, scroll game physics and you can create it by your own you don't need this but if you want to help me you can get it from patreon okay so what we need in here let's just hit f12 to make it maximize and what we need here we need this collision shape and another collision shape for this okay we need these two collisions so we should create that some of you say maybe we can create a polygon for that in in here in convex shape okay so there is some problem with this let's say we want to create this polygon shape and you can see it showing the red it is red right now right so the problem the first limitation is that this convex shape can't be more than eight points so we can't use that the next problem let's just go back to box and again go back to convex shape uh, because i want to remove that convex shape that we create the next way to fix it you may say create a convex shape for front of the car and for the back of the car separately and bone them together okay but there is a problem in that as well so let me say i did create this okay so it, it give us error right now 
So I want to create like three shape in here and bone them together. But Game Maker doesn't have the get function for all of these. Okay. So in Game Maker, you can't get these points in runtime. You can't have it. At least right now, you can't have it. Okay. So the next problem, let's just again go back to convex shape. The next problem, it it doesn't allow you to create polygon like this. And you can see that it is red. So the shape is not convex so the convex shape is like this this circle or there is this box this is a convex shape but if you want to have it like let's say like this you can't have it you can have it you can have it like this but if you want to put a point in here you can't have that anymore so shape is not convex how we can fix that i want to show you how you can do that in the box we can create two convex shape and bone them together first one is this and second one is this okay so like this for us to create that because all of these points that we create in here is um, anchored to this point on uh, top left corner so you can see if i put this in um here so this is the zero and zero point of our um, convex shape okay but what we did in in the sprites let me show you in the sprite we set the anchor point at the middle center okay we don't want to change that because we set some uh, joint that we want to use that anchor point okay go here and change the anchor point to top left okay in top left we have it okay why because the anchor point of this collision shape is at top left corner so we should use that because what I want to do, I want to copy all of these points and create it ourselves. For getting this point, let's just create, add a create event in here and create a fixture. What fixture is? Fixture is just this collision shape. Okay, so we can have as many as we want of this collision shape. Okay, so the first collision shape that I want to create is this. Okay, so let me show you. I want it to be like this. Okay or go up here like this okay so the first collision shape that i want to have is this and the values are here so let's just copy and paste them and use them okay so in here what i should do i should say physics fixture create okay so this will create a fixture for us like we have here and let's just put it on a variable i want to call it first fixture okay so this is our first fixture okay so next i want to say physics fixture set polygon shape so there will be a time that you want to have polygon in here not just a box so we use polygon okay so in, for the input we should copy and paste the variable that we create the fixture that we create uh, over here and let's just paste it here so the fixture will be created for us next thing to do is to add the point the points that we have in here these points to our first fixture okay so we should say physics fixture add point for the first input we should copy and paste this fir first fi fixture that we create above top here and for the next input the x and y value so the first x and y value is 7 and 10 and you can see it here 7 and 10 so for this fixture or collision shape we have four point okay so let's just copy and paste this four times and First, first one, uh, second one is this value. So let's just copy it. The third value is here, and let's just copy its value for the y because we have the x value before. And we can copy and paste this here. And for the last value is seven and this. Okay. So this is the values that we want, and all this value is just this value that we have here. Okay. So with with this line of codes, we did create this fixture or this collision shape okay we have it here next thing to do we should set a density for our fixture okay so like what we do in here that our car body has density restitution collision group and you can set all of them for this fixture as well so we should say physics fixture set density okay the fixture that we want to set the density is this first fixture okay so the next the density that we want to use the density that i want to use for this fixture let's just say one okay the next thing like we have here i want to set the collision group for our fixture it should be set physics fixture 
set collision group and first input is our first fixture that we create and the collision group is one like we set it set it in here collision group is one so it calculates collision and everything okay next we should set the like we have here start awake so it calculates physics okay so we should set that as well physics fixture set awake first fixture and one or two okay know that we have those points and we have all the um, physics options set in here like we have it in here let's just bond it to our car body for that we should say physics fixture bind okay for the first input our fixture and for the object the idea of this object the obg car body okay so like this no we have this collision shape or fixture in codes okay we didn't draw it here but we created with codes okay so the next fixture that we want is this fixture let me show you this fixture okay we want this fixture as well so let's just save it and hit run i think because we changed the anchor point it shouldn't be okay right it's not okay so let's just reposition this turn off this snapping so we can put it at the right location so now that we have this let's just run it to see if the problem exists or not so you can see that this car body won't go through this obstacle anymore and if we go forward you can see that we can't go through this wall as well so the problem is fixed but let's go to work space again and add a draw event in here and first of all let's just say draw self to show you what is happening and let's say physics draw debugs and now let's just run it and some of this line that is here because we changed the anchor point it's like this that because the anchor point is not at the center at and it is here okay but you can see the fixture or collision shape of our car is correct now we should um, increment this point by half of this sprite for the x and increment the y by the half so it should be at the center okay so let's just do that for us to fix that let's just open this spr car body and you can see the width of this car body is this so let's just open up our calculator and in here put in the value of the width of our car body and divided by two and it's this so let's just copy and copy paste this and instead of this we can say obg car body dot x plus this value okay the half of the this sprite sprite width okay so let's just do it for for the height as well so for that put in the value divided by two copy and paste this to here and now let's just run it to see if it, if everything is working or not and you can see this no this joint is at the right place okay so you can say a sprite width and a sprite height and it will work but this value is working so let's just add it to all of those joint as well so paste it here as well so let's just go here and put it in here as well for the y this much and for the x is this value okay so let's just copy it and paste it for our x of the uh, front wheel as well so let's see if everything is working or not and but the front wheel i did forget to add add these values to that as well so let's just add it fast to y and i think everything should be okay now and yeah everything is okay collision is okay and everything is working fine and there is no collision problem in here so now let's just delete this draw event in here so we can see it clearly and all of the problem is fixed now and we have this car in the next video i'm, I'm going to show you how you can do it with suspension and everything um, this way that i that i done it you can do it for motorcycle for tank with that um, wheel that they have and for everything you can use it so in the next video i will talk about suspension in your game and this way that you done it you can you have a lot of option to play with but there is another way to do this game uh, very easily with a function of game maker and i want to show you how you can do that in the next video so hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit the like button and subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot thank you very much for watching bye